A lot of comments here from Facebook and Twitter concerning Radamel Falcao. I'm just going to read a few of them out. Francis Chin says, This game confirms Falcao does not fit into the Manchester United play. He does not hold the ball up and let others come into play. Instead, he likes doing one touch and thus loses the ball. It's frustrating to see him lose the ball each time. El Mariachi film perhaps, says if Manchester United need to move forward, they will need to drop Falcao. The team is progressing along with all the players but for Falcao. You see the form progress of Fellaini, Valencia and Young. Falcao needs to go. And finally, Dalton Song says Falcao needs someone to feed him and understand his runs of play. Now, I'm just going to throw in another name here as well. Wayne Rooney has yet to score in 14 appearances in a Manchester United jersey against a Jose Mourinho Chelsea team. In fact, he hasn't scored against Chelsea in over two years. I mean, it just seems to be a bit of a hoodoo. This is not a happy hunting ground for Manchester United, full stop, not just Falcao. Yeah, look, it was, it was difficult for Rudy today. He's played, what, a number six, a number mm. eight? He, uh, he played as a number ten. He, he was everywhere. But today's one thing. But... Yeah, one thing. Yeah, look, in the past, and I think they've done a good job, uh, obviously, Terry and Cahill, whoever's marked him, they've done a pretty a decent job on him there. But as, uh, as for Falcao, I mean, I agree with Parks. You, you want to give him the ball. You want to give him the ball in the final third. And you saw what he can do. He had, what, two, two, two chances, one that was blocked and the one that he turned and hit the post. And that's what you need to do. He is a predator. He's a box striker. This is where you need to give him the ball, around from there onwards. Not on the halfway line, not, not, not inside his own half. In the final third, that is where he scored all his goals. It sounds like you're defending him, but I'm not at the defending end, end him. Of the day, not, four goals. No, end of the day, no, I didn't. I said it's not good enough. I said it in the There, this is what he can do. He can make those runs. I mean, that was a half a chance here, but it's just he's intelligent running there into the box. Watch him there. He knows that the ball is going to come. His take is. His, Cahill did absolutely brilliant not to lose him, you know what I mean? Because he's given him the, you know, the, the run to the left and he's gone inside him there. And this is what I'm talking about. He can turn here. Look at that. Give him the early ball. Bang. And he's in the box there. And this is so unlucky. He's done everything right but score. All right. Well, in terms of his performance today, across the entire season, what's your perception of Radamel Falcao? Is he perhaps past his prime, past his best? Oh. Are, we, are we looking at a player based on his reputation now rather than his... I think it's easy to say that because of the way it's been for him. But yeah. I'd like to actually see, I'd just like to see United just, I mean, the tempo's lifted from early season. Now they've got the confidence and they've got results behind them and performances. They've got, tempo's got better. I would like to see him be given a bit more airtime, just out there more. And then United just step it up in the final thirds. You know, we may be him playing more regularly with a Mata and a Herrera. And I think you'll get more from him. Then he'll, then he'll feel like he wants to make those runs because he'll believe the ball's going to come to him at the moment. Especially away from moments, Stamford Bridge, they wasn't coming because Chelsea sits so deep. They sit, they sit that deep. They, he couldn't make it, but then he needs the intricate players to be able to do that for him, to give him those opportunities. Well, and, and I'm the same as others. Yes, you feel like protecting him, but you don't suddenly become a bad player overnight, yeah. as the saying goes.